guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing well and happy new year to everybody I hope that 2021 is going to be a fabulous year for everybody I'm feeling so much happier and more relaxed than I was in my last video I've had a lot of stress going on if you don't know anything about that watch my last video but just letting you guys all know that my whole family have tested negative for corona and it is such a relief because I'm gonna be giving birth in a couple of weeks maybe earlier maybe a little bit later and that was just a huge weight on my shoulders um, but yes we're negative and I'm just looking forward to meeting this little baby this little boy and um, it's not gonna be long now I've packed my hospital bag and I've decided that I'm gonna show you today what is in my German hospital bag the reason I wanted to do this is because I think it might be quite interesting for anybody giving birth in Germany or just anyone in general who's interested to know what you should pack when you give birth in a hospital in Germany and so I've given birth twice before here in Germany and so I think I've got kind of like a fair idea of what I need what I don't need so just a warning if you were a guy watching this I know I've got quite a few male subscribers this is probably not going to be interesting for you at all and I'm going to be sharing a few sort of personal details about birth and that kind of thing so this is more for the females maybe you're a guy who's interested in watching this video because your wife or your partner girlfriend whatever is about to give birth so in that case might be interesting for you but this is more for the girls for the females for the births of my daughter and my son I stayed a total of three nights both times in hospital and I think in other countries it's usually pretty quick it's just like you give birth and you maybe stay one night and then go home and I've heard of people just going home that same day but in Germany I think you tend to stay a little bit longer in hospital it may be different at the moment because of the pandemic but I'm expecting to stay about three nights and I have pretty straightforward births like no I don't didn't have a c-section last time maybe this time will be different but hopefully I can have a natural birth I would like to get home as soon as possible to be honest but I am expecting to stay around three nights and I've packed enough for three nights what I have packed you will see is pretty minimal I definitely overpacked the last two times I packed way too much I packed things like makeup and just way too many changes of clothes and things that I just never used and um, I didn't use makeup at all it's the last thing you feel like doing you know getting all glammed up after giving birth just no I didn't pack anything like that um, so you will see it's all pretty basic pretty minimal this is just what I feel comfortable packing you may be different also I just wanted to add these are just the items that I will be using in the hospital I've packed a separate bag a backpack for baby for everything that baby needs so I'm going to be packing everything into this big bag here and normally I would take this bag to the river or the swimming pool but this is just the perfect size for a hospital bag and I got this one from Chibo which is a German brand and they sell Chibo products in supermarkets around Germany and there's also like separate Chibo shops and it's just a zip up one lots of room so I can fit so much in here it's got some separate little pockets like a, a big separate pocket with a zip inside and a pocket at the front just a super basic bag but I think this is just a really good size for taking to the hospital so here I've got all the documents that I'm going to be taking to the hospital. First of all, I've got my Mutters Pass, which if you're in Germany, you'll know what a Mutters Pass is. This book has every single detail of my pregnancy from beginning to end and all the details of my last two pregnancies. And so this is a really valuable little booklet and it's really important that I bring this. So I've got my New Zealand passport in case I need that. I've also got my German residency card. So I'm not a German citizen, I'm a German resident. I've got my insurance card, super important to bring. If there's any more documents that I might need, then my husband will just go home and pick them up. But I think like last time, that was pretty much all I needed. Also, a phone charger is absolutely essential, preferably one with a really long cord for when you are lying in your hospital bed. Also, I'm going to be packing a pair of wireless AirPods. These are just for a little bit of entertainment when I'm in labor. You never know how long that's going to go on for. And these are just the Soundcore 
AirPods from Amazon. Pretty inexpensive and they're really, really good. And so I'll just pack them in this little bag here. Also, I'm just going to be taking this reusable bag. It's like a big bag inside a little bag. And I got this from DM for a couple of euros. This is just to pack dirty clothes or whatever and for me to take back home. Also a pair of slippers to wear in the hospital. These are just super lightweight. They've got really good grip on the sole. So these will be perfect to slip into my hospital bag. These ones I got from Aldi and I think they were like four or five euros, so really inexpensive. Um, next up are some nursing bras, some really just comfortable nursing bras, which are a must have postpartum. So I got these from H&M in a pack of two. So I got a navy blue one and a white one. So I am packing three pairs of really lightweight, just soft cotton pajamas. So this pair here is just like a loose tank top and just some really loose cotton pajama pants. And I got these a while back from Aldi. They have really, really good pajamas there and really inexpensive. Okay, so this next set here, I got these from the online shop Shein. And I might actually insert a picture because they're actually pretty cute. Um, and so it's like a three piece set. And they are just super, super stretchy pajamas. So, so comfortable. So they're cotton with, I think they've got elastine in them. And they're just so, so stretchy and very, very light. And just exactly what you feel like wearing postpartum. And so it comes with just a pair of pajama pants. Um, just a little loose long sleeve top here and a robe this is just another pair of really lightweight pajamas just some very very soft stretchy pajama pants absolutely perfect for postpartum and a button up pajama top this will be perfect for nursing because i can just undo these buttons at the front also this robe oh my goodness i love it it is so so cute it's like this tropical print it's got this little belt with it and it's just something i can just chuck on and feel you know a little bit cute after giving birth and here i have packed quite a lot of tops because after giving birth you never know you know how much you're going to be sweating or if your baby's going to spit up on you and your milk's leaking and so you need a lot of different tops. So I've just packed two of these really stretchy t-shirt ones. Um, they are cotton with a little bit of stretch in them. And I got these tops from Taco. It's a really cheap shop here in Germany. But they have the best basics. So if you're looking for some really good basics at a low price. Then go to Taco. I think these cost me maybe 4 euros each. So I got a navy one a white one and this is just a long sleeved grey one and some tank tops these are all from taco and i think these also cost about four euros each super basic tank tops i did not buy the nursing tank tops because you can just like pull these down and they're absolutely fine and they're a lot cheaper if you buy them like this like the nursing ones are a little bit more pricey and so you know these will be absolutely fine so i got a white one a black one and a navy one so I like to keep to the neutral palette just so I can mix and match and next up I have got my glorious sexy postpartum underwear these came in a pack of four I got these from NKD and as you can see they're not very attractive but these are exactly what you need postpartum you need some really high-waisted just big underpants because you're gonna be wearing a big thick pad and yeah <laughs> so these will be absolutely ideal um and also you feel really floppy after giving birth and you kind of feel like you need a bit of support so these will suck me in a little bit so there you go there are my underpants this is what i have packed for going home my going home outfit and you want to be really, really comfortable. You don't want to pick anything like jeans or just anything super tight. That's the last thing you feel like wearing when you have just given birth and you're heading home. So I have packed this pullover here. And I got this from Shein from the online shop. And it's just a very soft pullover knit. And... It buttons down the front which will be really good for nursing I thought you know that would be kind of nice but it's also really comfortable too and I have packed this pair of pants and these are kind of like yoga pants also from Shein they have a very high waist which will be good it'll like suck me in nicely after giving birth and give me that little bit of support 
when your tummy is like really floppy and soft um, but also just really really comfortable and I know a lot of women like to wear leggings after giving birth but I find leggings too tight and restricting so these are a little bit just looser and still kind of cute so I think that'll look fine together. Also just in case I packed another pair of looser jogging pants that aren't so high waisted because I just don't know how I'm going to be feeling after giving birth and it's always good just to have a backup. Also just two pairs of socks. I know a lot of people like wearing really thick socks in the hospital but I just feel too hot when I'm wearing thick socks. So here are just some personal items that are absolutely essential after giving birth. I got all of these from DM in the baby section with like the baby food and that kind of thing. So these are just some nursing pads. So if you have ever breastfed you'll know that around the second day your milk comes in and it squirts everywhere and you definitely need these nursing pads. I really like the baby love ones. Really really inexpensive and they're really good. These are just some postpartum pads that you will most definitely need if you have a natural birth because you bleed a lot and you really need like the thickest pads you could find and these are designed specifically for postpartum. They're from the brand Bella. Also these ones they're not very attractive but they are postpartum underwear like disposable underwear and I bought a packet of two, usually the hospital provides them, I remember my last two births these were provided at the hospital but I thought I'd put in a packet of two, um, also from the brand Bella. Next up for the shower I have just packed a face cloth and this really really lightweight towel. I got this from a sports shop, I can't remember the name of the shop in Germany and it is a very very lightweight a lightweight towel and it's fast drying and I thought this would be good because it's pretty big but it folds up really small and I remember last time when I gave birth to Mateo I forgot to bring a towel I thought that the hospital would provide a towel and they didn't and so I had to dry myself with a t-shirt which was absolutely horrible also just a pair of basic flip-flops to wear in the shower you never know the germs that are spreading around in the hospital showers so I just picked these up from Amazon and I think they cost me maybe three euros or something like that so super cheap flip-flops we call them jandals in New Zealand actually so next up these are just my personal care items and I got this cute little set here this toiletry set from Aldi actually and it cost me seven euros for this whole set and I think they're still actually selling these so I bought this set of bottles and containers and things from DM and I was able to put my creams and shampoos and everything I needed into these little bottles so here I've got my shampoo, I've got my conditioner here, this was just a bottle I had at home that I filled up with conditioner. I have got my body cream, like my moisturiser, and some body wash. Here I have got some face wash, I have got some moisturiser and some coconut oil. As you can see I've got a toothbrush here, I could not find one of those little tops to put on your toothbrush, on the head of your toothbrush. I looked all over DM, could not find one. So I'm going to keep looking or I'll just order one from Amazon. Um, but for now I'll just keep it in the packet. I've got a razor, may or may not use this one. A couple of tubes of toothpaste. This is my favourite deodorant and the only one that works for me that I've come across here in Germany and I know that a lot of people are anti-deodorant because there's a lot of chemicals in there but I just really really have to wear deodorant. In this pouch here I've just got a few bits and pieces, a little mirror, uh, what else, a comb, I'm not even bringing a brush this time because I usually just only use combs anyway. I've got a lip balm, this is by Knipe, a brand here in Germany. I love Knipe lip balms, they're the best. And also a tinted lip balm from Labella. Some hair ties, a scrunchie, and one of these kind of razors, little razors. If I see like my eyebrows need attending to or something like that, I can just, you know, get this out. And that is all I have packed for cosmetics. I packed makeup last time, like a full set of makeup, and I didn't wear it at all. So I'm just going to be super minimal. I don't think you're allowed visitors anyway in the hospital, so I just want to be comfortable. I just want to spend time with my baby and bond with my baby and not worry about how I look. But I also want to feel fresh and clean and, you know. Also, I've packed some face wipes just to freshen up if I need to. Next up, this is really important. So these are my snacks for 
or when I'm in labor and I might be a little bit hungry. As I mentioned, you never know how long labor is going to go on for. And also I have celiac and intolerance to gluten. And so with the vending machines and things at the hospital, it's really hard to find gluten-free products. So I thought I might as well pack some of my own snacks. So I have just packed a mix of nuts, salted nuts, and some kind of like pretzels, gluten-free style pretzels, a bottle of water, some little chocolate snack things which look really yummy, and a packet of oat and honey muesli bars. Some people with celiac react to oats, but I don't, so these will be perfect. Also a packet of Traubenzucker, which is like grape sugar, fruit sugar, and these were really great last time I was in labor. They just gave me a little boost of energy and they're really yummy too. So anyway guys, that is everything that I have packed in my German hospital bag for giving birth here in Germany. And I hope you found this video interesting. If you have given birth in Germany or you're about to give birth and you've already packed your bag, let me know are there any items that you think I may have missed out or that you have used that I haven't shown. Um, I'd be really interested to know in the comment section below. Also if you've given birth in another country, were there any items that I've packed that may Maybe surprised you that you wouldn't need in your country or items that you would really need in your country that I haven't packed. I'd be really interested to know that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye!